Victor Wimbenyama isn't as good as people say he is. I get it. He's 7'4". He's dunking easy. But he can't lead a team. He's not going to do it. The Spurs had the worst record in the Western uh in the Western Conference. The Spurs had the worst record with Wembenyama on the team. He can't do what LeBron can do. He can't lead a team. When Victor Wembenyama is on the court, everybody else around him does worse. Champagne does worse. Sochan does worse. Everybody does worse. He's constantly like, give me the ball, give me the ball. Like, I get it. He's stat padding. His stats look good. Everybody's like, whoa, Victor Wimbanyama. We haven't seen this before. And I'm just like, yeah, he's cool. He's exciting to watch. But the Spurs aren't winning a championship with Victor Wimbanyama. They're not going to win a championship with Victor Wimbanyama and Chris Paul. They're, it's not going to happen. There's no way. And a lot of people are going to get mad at me saying the truth. Oh, what? why are all these people saying he's so good and you're the only one being realistic and saying he's not? Oh, you're, you're the one, you're the only one that is the odd man out. Okay. I don't follow the crowd. If I have the right answer and everybody else has the wrong answer, I'm going to speak up. You get what I'm saying? It's happened so many times. It's happened in honors math class so many times. Like... Let me shine, dog. I know what I'm talking about. Victor Wimanyama slow. He can't carry the ball. If somebody even tries to touch the ball when he has it, he's falling on the ground. He has terrible balance. Nobody's talking about that. Yeah, he can shoot. Yeah, yeah, he can drive. He can dunk. But nobody else is shooting the ball. Everybody wants Victor Wimanyama to take the shots. He's the lead role on the Spurs. Everybody, I mean, he's selling the tickets. Give Victor Wimanyama the ball. That's that's what it is. Also, uh, France has a big money pit in the NBA. We already know this. A lot of, I mean... It, why why all of a sudden is France going one and two every single year, especially this year? I can understand Victor Wimanyama, but this year too, those guys aren't number one and number two. I'm going to call you out. It's not all about talent all the time. And also, there's nobody even contesting Victor Wimanyama's shots. There's seven footers that can contest his shots, but they're just not doing it. Nobody is really on Victor Wimanyama. I mean, if a devil team comes, he's going to fall on the floor and lose the ball. I mean, he does not do well against shorter players. I've seen Mac McClung. I've seen uh, Yuki. I've seen... A lot of shorter players just freaking cook Victor Wimanyama. Chet Holmgren is better than Victor Wimanyama. He's a better all over overall player. He's a better all around. Uh, he plays his position. He's very unselfish. He makes his team better. Without Chet, would they have a championship or a championship team? No. They have a championship caliber team with Chet Holmgren. If Victor Wimanyama was to take Chet Holmgren's spot, would they be as good? No, because Victor Wimanyama makes people around him worse. Don't you understand? If Chet was on, 
if Chet was on uh, the Spurs team, he would, I mean, he would have no choice but to have big stats. There's nobody else that's going to shoot the ball. It's not meant for nobody else to shoot the ball. They're losing games. His, his, his plus minus is awful. His plus minus is terrible because they lose every game. He's going to pick and choose what games he plays in. I, you're not going to make a bad team. You can't even get to the playoffs. You're not going, like, don't you understand? Like, yeah, it looks good on paper, but you ain't doing nothing. You're not doing nothing for the franchise. Uh, besides, I, I mean, you're selling some tickets because people are, like, in awe of how how big he is and whatnot. But, bro, he ain't that good. Kristoff Porzingis is the same size. We've seen this before. It looks crazier because he probably has longer arms. And, I I mean, we haven't seen Kristoff Porzingis be healthy. I mean, he has that above Kristoff Porzingis. He has health. We've seen him. I mean, it looks cooler when he's dunking. Kristoff Porzingis doesn't dunk all that much. But it's not like we've, I mean, it... If there was a guy in Victor Wembanyama's face actually guarding him, contesting his dunks, contesting his shots, it, every time Victor Wembanyama even dunk, like tries to dunk, before he even tries to dunk, everybody gets out of his way. Oh, well you gotta let Victor Wembanyama dunk. Oh, it's because they can't, they can't stop it, dude. There's there's guys that can stop it and they just they don't they don't contest. I mean the Spurs are at the same level as the Detroit Pistons. They're they're bad. This I mean shoot this year Detroit looks better. I mean I would say Detroit's better. They're gonna have a improved record. They're gonna. I mean, there's some upside to Detroit. I don't see the upside in the Spurs. I don't. Um, but yeah, th those are my two cents. Uh, I I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of people getting on me in the comments and stuff about, oh, this dude's crazy. He thinks Chet Holmgren's better than Victor Women Yama, blah, blah, blah. Every time they play, okay, C beats them. Every time they play, Chet... Holmgren and Victor Wembanyama go neck and neck and Victor really goes for his neck that was an offensive foul uh that wasn't called when Victor freaking got him in the fit in like the chin or something that was an offensive foul sure he he's gonna get him sometimes but Chet got him too like you guys uh pick and choose what you look at that that's what you do because these guys are so in awe of Victor Wembanyama. Chet Holmgren is a better ball handler. He's a better shot blocker. He actually blocks shots. Victor Wembanyama hits the ball right here. He doesn't even know he's blocking it. Like Chet Holmgren is actually a shot blocker. Victor Wembanyama is uh, a forearm blocker. Like, <laughs> bro. He doesn't even know, like, he doesn't even see that he blocks the shot. He just goes up. And go back. Go look at his block shots. He doesn't know. Chet Holmgren is better shifting his feet on defense. He's a better defender. I mean, Victor Wembanyama does score more points, whatever. Um... Just maybe a little bit because he has to. There's no other options. He's constantly going like this even when he's not open. So people just throw him the ball. To... He's an irritant. That's irritating. Somebody going like this every time. Like, bro. Um, he, uh, Chet is, has better eye coordination he has better coordination overall he's not constantly 
uh, falling on the ground. He's not constantly getting the ball stolen from him. He can actually, uh, he's uh, like uh, a good ball handler. Victor Wimanyama, he's not a good ball handler. He's going to get the ball stolen. He's going to lose the ball. Chet Holmgren's better at the three-pointer. He's a better three-point shooter. He's a better team player. He's a better, uh, just overall, a better player than Victor Wimanyama. Uh, I would choose to have Chet Holmgren on the team because I know we're going to win. I know uh, he's going to give me the ball when I'm open. Victor Wimanyama, uh, he's going to have his stats up but he's going to lose. He's going to lose every time he can't lead a team. It's not going to happen. Another thing, Chet Holmgren was injured. He was out for an entire year. And to even be uh, in the same conversation as Victor Wiminyama is insane. I don't think you guys realize that Chet Holmgren had a serious injury. He was out for an entire year. Who, who cares if Victor Wimanyama won? Um, I mean, if he won Rookie of the Year, let's give him that. He won Rookie of the Year. Good job. We know French has a big sum of money. Uh, whether you won it legitly or not, that's in the back of my head. Uh and your team sucks. You're going to have high stats. Your team is trash. There's nobody else. Um, so, yeah, that's my thoughts on it.